we've all heard of, uh, about uh, Snapchat, right? a small team of engineers that have built one of the most popular applications on the internet today. And it's been fun for us to partner with them. And so I'm excited uh, today to welcome Bob Murphy, CTO and co-founder of Snapchat, to the stage uh, so we can hear their story, uh, their story firsthand. Sorry, Bobby. Please come up. Hello, Bobby. Great meeting you. All right, so I'm curious how, um, how you actually got started with, with both the idea and, and sort of the, 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 the infrastructure. What, what, what led you there? Yeah, so uh, Evan and I got started on Snapchat uh, summer of 2011. Um, basically kind of understood that visual content was the most engaging, interesting form of content that there was and uh, wanted to create a way to uh, enable that to be a means of communication rather than a um, you know, piece of content around which communication actually happens. So that was sort of the initial concept behind Snapchat. Um, we launched on Google App Engine because I, I had used App Engine a couple times for, for some small projects, um, found it was super easy to get up and running. Um, and you know, when, at the time, like obviously our, our biggest priority was to get a product in the hands of uh, users in the, in the world, in the real world, as quickly as possible. And so I turned again to App Engine, something I was very familiar with, and uh, you know, a platform that very easily abstracts away a lot of the complexities of you know, building, deploying, and uh, you know, a web backend into the real world. Um, and, uh, and I think at the time, App Engine was actually still in preview. So we took, we took a chance on a new platform. Um, but I was fairly confident that given Google's kind of reputation as a very strong infrastructure company, that uh, anything we built on App Engine would um, eventually scale uh, if, if, if we needed to. So. And it did. So yeah. uh, can you tell us a little bit about how that platform supported your launch of, of more recent features, like the Stories feature that you launched uh, just recently? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's actually been very surprising for us to, and like uh, super fortunate to see Cloud Platform um, kind of grow its feature set almost perfectly in sync with our own feature needs. It was actually funny looking at your the, the timeline earlier because uh, we've taken advantage of almost all of those product offerings almost immediately upon them being mm -hmm. released to the general public. So um, around the time that we were launching Stories, which was uh, fall of last year, um, you know, App Engine was great for our core application, but we were looking for something a little bit more flexible to support uh, the Stories architecture, which uh, currently uses um, Redis on, on a huge cluster of uh, Compute Engine instances. And so um, we were looking around, and that was exactly when Compute Engine launched to the general public, and so um, along with um, outgoing socket connections from App Engine front end. So it's actually perfect timing for us. Um, that's worked and scaled tremendously well. Mm -hmm. So you're running lots of Redis today? We are. Um, yeah, we've got, uh, I think, 256 master nodes and two, two slaves per each, and uh, with a twin proxy cluster in front and uh, Google load balancers in front of that. So. OK. And so obviously, you know, that all came with a huge amount of growth, right? Not just in the beginning, but actually, yep. it's really the amazing thing is that the growth has been just been keeping up. So how, ha how have we helped you? I hope we have helped you. Yeah, that, yeah. Right? You guys have seen the growth firsthand. Um, Absolutely. So, the, I mean, the biggest uh, benefit is just the fact that we can focus much less on maintaining infrastructure and much more on building new infrastructure to support the features and the, and the product developments that, that we need. Um, in fact, actually, Tim, uh, our, one of our VPs of engineering, just last week told me um, one of his biggest surprises at joining Snapchat um, was at not having to deal with the operational headache and complexity that he was expecting and, and you would expect from a company at our growth rate and, and our current scale. So. Um, yeah, the biggest benefit is just the, the fact that we can focus less on maintaining infrastructure and much more on building new stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, as far as I understand, you don't, you still don't have an operations team, really, like an SRE no, team. No, not so, yeah, like, not really. Uh, you know, we're at about uh, 25 engineers now, and uh, you know, a little bit of operational work here and there. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the most part, everyone's focused on new feature development. Cool. So, if you had a piece of advice for for anyone out there who you know wants to build the next Snap Snapchat uh, <laughs> on a Google platform. Platform, uh, cloud platform. What, you know, how how's, how how should they go about it? Uh, yeah, I would just say it's. I mean, it's a super easy. I mean, uh, platform to use. Uh, we got started on App Engine, which is amazingly simple to use um, and has scaled tremendously well. I've been absolutely impressed and very surprised that it, that it's scaled as well as it has. Certainly thought early on that uh, the kind of traditional notion of you know you build on a hosted solution and you reach a certain size at which you have to move off. Um, I think is is fading and Google's kind of paving the way there. Um, and so, you know, what's, what's great about App Engine and, and Cloud Platform in general is that you get that kind of upfront ease of use um, with the added comfort of knowing that whatever you're building, if it needs to, will eventually scale, like, 
you know, add infinitum. So. Great. Let's, yeah, so. <laughs> let's go to infinity and beyond. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Yeah, Thank you so very much. much.